Hey guys, and welcome back to Making Rehab Fun Again. Today I will be talking about one of my all-time favorite devices, the Xbox Adaptive Controller on the Xbox One. To begin, it comes packaged with loops, tabs, and dividers, making it possible to open with one hand or limited by motor skills. The Xbox Adaptive Controller is a great addition to the Xbox One. It offers gamers everywhere an opportunity for individualized gameplay. It offers an Xbox button, a share screen button, a menu or options button, saved configurations, a large D-pad, also known as a directional pad, one large A button, one large B button, one USB port for the right joystick, one USB port for the left joystick, and 19 3.5 millimeter aux ports for switches and buttons. Using Copilot, the Xbox Adaptive Controller can be paired with the traditional controller for customizable gameplay. In this clip, I demonstrate how I use the left joystick on the traditional controller while hitting the large A and B buttons on the Xbox Adaptive Controller. This means that I can use my feet, elbows, chin, or other parts of my body to hit the buttons while also using the traditional controller. It also means that the gamer can hit buttons using the Xbox Adaptive Controller while someone else helps on the traditional controller. In this video, Tyler directs me to move the joystick left or right while he uses the large A and B buttons on the Xbox Adaptive Controller. Leave it again. I'm going to get this feather up here. Come on, jump. Jump again. Leaves. Leaves. Still leaves. I'll jump over this. Left. The addition of Copilot on the Xbox One, along with the Xbox Adaptive Controller, is a great way for therapists to build rapport with their clients. It is also a great way for clients to build personal relationships and to practice communicating needs and wants. I am including a few articles in the description if you are interested in learning more about the benefits of collaborative gaming. Since a large variety of switches are compatible with the Xbox Adaptive Controller, and since they can be positioned around the body, switches and buttons placed in strategic positions can be used for endurance and strengthening training. In this video, I am using a clothespin switch I made to increase lateral pinch strength. In order to address therapeutic goals, therapists can convert exercise equipment into switches to replace traditional exercise methods with video games. Gaming can be a high quality add-on to existing therapeutic techniques in order to improve patient experience and provide additional occupational engagement for better outcomes. Thank you for watching. 